Well, this episode is called Ecolos Familia slash King of Atrocity, and I already know Hermes accused Ecolos of being a part of the evil side of the gods, you know, malicious intent, stuff like that. So I don't think this is ended with the way last episode ended. This is going to be a hectic one, I can already tell. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Don Machi Season 3, Episode 5. Last episode, uh, we had a party and celebration of our new friendship between the monsters and our main familia, our main squad. And it's, it's honestly a little glimmer of hope for a completely different and, and possible future that we may have. So that's that's major you know major changes that could be happening which is super big but meanwhile bell and the rest of the people have to do some stuff up there we had to leave um Wiene down with the xenos and the squad down there you know i trust them all completely ray lead gross even though gross is a little distrustful of humans he still has their best interests at heart i, I feel so but thank you to brandon who commented on patreon telling me that wasn't ray who was hung up by Dix, because Dix used uh, one of Ray's species, a different Xenos, to bait out um, Ranie, the spider, and Foe, you know, all that whole squad with Wiene, and it's not looking good because they are very strong. They already killed one monster, and they said the hunt is on, and it's just, it's not looking good. I don't know what's going to happen, and then, like I said, we still have to deal with Eyes and her, because I know she's going to play a part in this. Like, I know, oh, and I'm not looking forward to that at all. But I'm just, I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this episode. I really am. But remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show, all the other shows I'm watching, make sure to check out that Patreon down below. It's always available to you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys are currently not subscribed and click that bell so you guys always know when I post. Follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter at Dapper Darius. Thank you guys so much. Let's hop right on to this. Um, Don Machi, Season 3, Episode 5. Ikelos Familia slash King of Atrocity. Oh, Lord. Ooh. Okay. We're not doing bad. They have some healers, obviously. It's a full-blown battle, though. It's a less one-sided than I thought it would be. I, for I do forget we are strong monsters. So it's obvious from even his own men, Dix is a different level. So hmm, they probably are level twos, maybe threes or some of them. But the difference between that and four, maybe even five, what he is now is just... One stab to the back. And Foe was so nice to Wiene too, yeah. So big and scary, yet so kind and gentle. Oh man, look at all this, man. This is horrible. She is getting a very harsh taste of what some humans are actually possible of. Oh no! This is horrible. Meanwhile, we're just... I mean, they don't know about the situation, obviously. It just sucks that we're just... Oh, man. Okay. Okay. This is just something else. Yeah, good. I hope they all get just melted alive. Good. Man. Is she gonna start speed? Oh, she is not going out without a fight. Good. She took out her, her, I leave the rest to you. She took out her own stone not to be violated like that. It makes sense, you know. She was going to die anyway in this situation. That's just sad though. I feel so bad. Oh, 
I cannot wait to see Dix die. He better die. Oh no, this is not gonna be like an Apollo type thing where we're gonna send him away out of a Rario type shit. Nah, I need to see him get his head chopped off by a monster too. I need to see a monster do it. Be the one, hundred percent. Yeah, I wanna. I, I'd be down to have Gross do it. Yeah, he still is. I know, it's it's hard knowing that there are sentient monsters that feel something. It's really hard. But he did it good. Yeah. Damn, that is hard. I would just make it like The Walking Dead, have a quick little test. Hey, you talking? You good? Can you speak? No? I bam, you know? I mean, yep, and here we go. Here's the biggest struggle in this season, in my opinion. Oh, that's okay. He broke it out of distrust. I feel my man's pain. I still want to know who the stronger monster is, you know, who Lee was talking about below them, you know, down deeper in the dungeon. This has been a story that has been gone through media and throughout the ages, you know, when the oppressed fight back, do you do it in a violent way to fight fire with fire? Do you do it through words, prove you're the bigger, you know, better people? But it's like, I love that this is being told. I was not expecting this whatsoever in Don Machi, but it just reminds me so much of Detroit Become Human. If you've never played that game, I don't know if it's a PlayStation exclusive. I know it's on, P uh, it's on PC now. It's literally this, but it's just, it's told in this very similar way and you get to choose which decisions you want to do i love it play that and i love that this is being told i personally when i played it and when like right now i'm more on the lead side you have to prove you're better discuss and you'll eventually win over the people but i completely understand where gross is coming from this is this is just so disgusting the way that was handled he heard everything so he knows exactly how they treat it. like it was just they're sick fucks, and I get, uh, like, I'd be down to go even Leeds way, but then afterwards have, like, a promise of go, having them go through a trial, and then that trial could end up in the death penalty. The death penalty is a whole nother topic, like, you could have a whole video debate on forever, but in this show, where it's, like, monsters, and it's, like, fight, killing, killing's a much more normal occurrence, this, I would say, we're gonna go ahead and green light that, but it's tough. I get it. That's all I'm saying. It's tough. And he's, he thinks Bell one day will abandon him, you know? I understand why he thinks that. That guy, is that the monster I was talking about? I gotta write down these names. So let's... Ooh, yeah, they got fucked up from Ranya. <laughs> oh my lord, that would be terrifying. Aizu-san,モンスターに何か生きる理由があったとしたら、どうしますかモンスターのせいで誰かが亡くのなら、私はモンスターを殺す。yeah, she has uh, no real hesitation, but it's rare to have someone as soft-hearted as Bell. So, you know, I understand why he's the way he is. He's a very big softy, which is needed. I love, I love best boys, you know, good boys. 
Oh no. This is an emergency emergency. Issue a mission, which means you are not turned. All familias need to come here. Do this right now. Damn, this is an all-out war at this point. So they had... So they announced the emergency because that's what would happen. You know, it's an emergency. And then Uranus and Fells or Roy, uh, Royman, something like that, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Skibaba com some or Brandon commented, what was his name? Something along those lines. Um, was like, oh, no, we got to tell him we can't do this because, you know, it's the Zenos. So it's like, this is going to lead to a lot of panic and misinformation. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Royman, yeah. Okay, and Ganesha knows, so makes sense. That was the ideal situation, but. Simply swept along by circumstances, or is he a doll made to dance by the gods? Or. So, we want to see what his true resolve and true motivation is right here. <laughs> I would too. Oh god. She's reading the She's reading the sacred text along the edges, of course. <laughs> she doesn't even care that she's reading it out loud. She does not. Hey, they're a familia. But hey. Uh huh. Alright. Uh oh. See, even Hermes knows the severity of the situation. Oh, Falgar is there. They were t the guy spying down there earlier. Asfi's always in the shadows. She's a ninja. Oh, of course you do. You a dingleberry. Oh. So he told Aisha to go talk to Ryu? Or maybe she's doing this on her own? Evilus. Alright, <laughs> we got Ryu involved. That is a big bonus for us. I cannot wait for this man to die. A horrible death. Yeah, Eclos is just up there watching. He's just, what's going on? Ilta. New characters. Ganesha Familia. Oh, and we got Sneaky Bell back here. I like it. Okay. That was a good setup for the where we're going next. Okay, I like it. I like it. I like it. So, correct me if I'm wrong, because 
uh, Uranus only trusts Ganesha because Ganesha is the one, only one besides Hestia now who knows the secret. So uh, Ganesha plus the secret bell. So all these members, like, like the, they showed a picture. It was like at least 40, 50 people. All those are member of the Ganesha familia. Like I'm guessing it's like the Loki familia. The Loki familia I think has a lot, a lot, but like a lot of them are like low levels, like twos, ones, twos, some threes, you know? So are these all members of the Ganesha? And then the only name I got was Ilta and then the girl who's commanding right in front. So I'm guessing they're gonna be nasty, but uh, they're not gonna kill. They're the suppression. They're gonna bring them in alive. I don't know how this is gonna work out. I don't know what's gonna happen, but like I said, Dix needs to die. And I don't want Gross to die, because like I said, I understand where he's coming from. I just want him to witness Bell do something amazing, like kill Dix by saving. But see, Bell's too soft-hearted to kill Dix, so I don't think Bell's gonna kill Dix. But I need to, I need Gross to see Bell do something amazing to save Wiene. That's the only thing I can like picture. But we have so many different story threads going on with like the Hestia and Bell involved with this. And then we have Uranus and Fells, and then we have Hermes and Asphi, which leads over to uh, Aisha and Ryu. And then, you know, we have just fucking Jesus Christ. It's just so many. And then we have Ganesha and we have Dix and Ikelos, you know, we have Gross, Ray, Lead. And then we have the fucking monster who, um, Arly, Arles, Arlies, the rabbit, the monster was going to go find. And let the goblin was gonna go no let's gonna oh so you know what i'm some some along those lines it's just so many story threads and it's crazy and i know season four got announced so i'm excited i'm really am excited to see where this goes and what might get set up for season four because right i was so not expecting this for season three at all i love that story thread like i was talking about of the oppressed fighting the oppressors like in which way do you do that you know there's been multiple stories there's been in real life how it's gone over. It's like the classic Martin Luther King way versus Malcolm X way, you know, it's like, and it's, it's very decisive. Like I said, I played Detroit Become Human. I chose the peaceful side. I have a friend who I watched play Detroit Become Human and he went the destructive side. People are just different. So I understand it and I'm here for it. And I'm excited to see where this goes. If you guys enjoyed, uh, please leave a like. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Of course, if you guys want early access and full length to this show, all the other shows I'm watching, check out that Patreon down below. As always, I'll see you guys in this next episode. Peace out, y'all.